We're back with Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack in the OTR Pop Quiz. At the dedication of Zanka Bunker Hill Bridge back in October of 2002, Bruce Springsteen was on hand, honoring the memory of Lenny Zakem. On the screen, he sang one of those songs. What was it? Promised Land, Born to Run, or Thunder Road? Don't know, but Thunder Road? Bingo. You're three for three. It was the lead track, by the way. You're guessing pretty well. I grew well. up in New you Jersey, so <laughs> Bruce questions. Wow, that's you right. know. You nailed it. All right, here's the last question. We had to ask you one about the MBTA. For many years, Harvard Square was the northern terminus of the MBTA's red line. Well, that distinction now belongs to the Alewife station. So here's your question. What year did Alewife open? Was it 81, 85, or 89? 85? Officially open March 30th, 1985. You nailed it. Were you really course. guessing or did you know? I have a t-shirt from the opening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you were pretending Very like good. you were guessing. Very All right. Good. So last week, um, Speaker DeLeo was our guest here, and he made it loud and clear that he was not happy with the state's efforts to upgrade roads and bridges. Take a listen to this quick soundbite. Well, the roads, we, we had a statistics of some 20% of our roads are, 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 in, are, are deficient. Right. Um, so whether I'm up in the Berkshire, Springfield, Worcester, Lawrence, Lowell, you know, Cape, whatever, 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 whatever so, it may be, the RTAs, people are very, very, uh, you know, concerned. So in the plan that you released uh, just a few months ago, you acknowledged that it will not meet the federal government's criteria for state of good repair. And the money you suggested allocating is even less than what was allocated in the previous administration. Are you shortchanging our roads and bridges? So we've taken a hard look at roads and bridges. We've been doing what's called asset management, which is creating databases of which roads are in bad shape and good shape. In the $18 billion bond bill, which we filed with the legislature, we do propose increasing spending both on roads and bridges. And by the way, some of our worst roads are actually state numbered roads that are owned by the cities and towns. People think because it has a state number like Route 99, mm -hmm. it's the states, but it's not. It's the town's responsibility and they really don't have the resources. So we've actually proposed a program to pay for that because it's really should be a state responsibility. But if responsibility. you can't even meet the standard that's required and there's like, I guess there's only like six states that are in this category that we are, everybody else is meeting the standard, do you need to spend more money? We do, on both roads and bridges, and we've proposed that in that $18 billion bond bill, and we're looking, we look, we know we're gonna have a conversation with the legislature about how much money and where it should come from. We, we put out a plan that we think is a great plan as the bond bill, and we hope they take it up, and I hope they pass it soon, because I'd love to be putting out more road and bridge work this 2020 transportation season, but I need to know, you know, this spring if that's going to happen. But is your plan going to meet the, the standards? Yes. Will the, it be, it'll bring us to the uh, federal requirements? Yes. Um, over 10 years, so it's not tomorrow, oh, oh. and I think so part of the dialogue is do over we want to do years. it faster? But okay. I will tell folks, if you want to do it faster, you're going to bump into a work zone everywhere you drive. Ask the people who use the Tobin Bridge what it means when you decide to fix a bridge and you have to close down a lane of it for two years. They, in, the, in the final seconds that we have, another guest on OTR that recently, State Auditor Suzanne Bump, was very critical of the RMV, handing out out-of-state violations, saying that, that you put too many resources toward reissuing new licenses to meet federal mandates. She said your emphasis on staying on the tight budget was the ultimate culprit. Do you need to spend more to keep the public safe? So what happened at the registry was a tragedy. We brought in an outside investigator and we are following, have implemented every recommendation in that report. Um, I don't think it was a budget problem. I, it's like the safety culture issue at the T. Um, people were not focused on the full set of very important responsibilities that the registry has. They were focused on implementing real ID and reducing wait times. Um, honestly, the day after we found out what had happened in right, New Hampshire, right. we started you know, taking care of suspending people who had been suspended by other states. We have kept up with that. We made a commitment that within one business day, anytime we got a notice from another state about a suspension, we would do it, and we have followed that commitment every day, every week, every month since last July. But if you had if I had known about it, we would have started doing it much sooner. But if you had more people on staff, made you, might you have known about it? I don't, it is, I don't understand why no one brought it to my attention and asked for the resources, because I came up with the resources, and I would have. I will say that we have done top to bottom assessments of those programs and the budget that the governor filed last week 
does have some more positions for the registry, all focused on safety and compliance. Stephanie Pollack, great to have you with us. Great we, to be here. Good you to see you. Thank, thank you very much. The four on the OTR pub quiz, by the way. Our thanks again to the yeah, Transportation right. Secretary. The Sunday Roundtable is next here on OTR. Governor Baker's choice of words, or word, duh, taking some heat after an MLK breakfast appearance with Congresswoman Ayanna Pressley. We'll talk about that just ahead.